Are you satisfied with who you are and with what you have? The Harris Poll says that only one third of Americans are satisfied and happy. And that's not surprising because from infanthood we're brainwashed to want more. Children want a better toy their friends have. Teens want the newest designer clothes. And adults want another partner because they have irreconcilable differences with the old one. Life coaches tell us we can achieve anything we want and be anything we want to be. And of course, companies advertise services and products by convincing us that more and newer is better. In short, greed is good, or rather, greed is God. Now, some may argue, look how far we've come in the last hundred years thanks to technology, internet, and social development. We're a hundred times better off than our grandparents. My answer would be true. There is 100 times progress, but are you 100 times happier than grandma? No need to answer that, but it's a fact that our lives are driven by the syndrome that the grass is always greener on the other side. And so we're never satisfied with what we have or with what we are because someone else, somewhere else, is better than us and having a better time than us. And so we're miserable. Learn to be satisfied with what you can achieve and with what you can be without excessive effort. The law of karma dictates that you won't get more than you deserve. If today you take more than what you're due, tomorrow you'll have less. It's the law of nature. You can't fight it. Concentrate on self-realization, on being a good person, and having a stable family. Now keep the following wisdom of sages in mind. For a person who has suitable shoes on his feet, there's no danger even when he or she walks on pebbles and thorns. For him, everything is suspicious. Similarly, for one who's always self-satisfied, there's no distress. Indeed, he feels happiness everywhere. Satisfaction will protect you through all of life's challenges.